Welcome, to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-4050. Item Number, SCP-4050 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures, Regulations have been set in place by the Administration of Helena, Kansas which forbid any body of water exceeding 10 meters in depth. In the event any body of water in Helena exceeds this depth, the water is to be drained. Witnesses of SCP-4050-1 are to be administered Class A amnestics. Site 177 has been established on the outskirts of Helena serving as a water treatment facility as well as a foundation containment site for various Euclid class anomalies. Within Site 177 is a large empty container which is 10 meters in depth. Personnel are not to interact with this container without permission from the current Site 177 director. Description SCP-4050 is the town of Helena, Kansas. According to official town records, SCP-4050 was founded in 1868 when Florence C. and James constructed a home with the purpose of studying the local area, later repurposed into a general store and trading post. Containers within SCP-4050 holding water at a depth of at least 10 meters, henceforth known as the container, become subject to a phenomenon by which they anomalously deepen. This occurs over the course of approximately one week, and has no effect on the outward appearance of the container in question. It has been noted that the volume of the water does not change the outcome of the transformation. Upon reaching 500 meters in depth, this transformation will stop, and an opening will appear at the bottom of the container. This opening serves as an entryway into a physical replica of SCP-4050 submerged entirely in water, henceforth referred to as SCP-4050-1. The water in SCP-4050-1 has a salinity of 4.5%, slightly higher than the average of seawater, and a high argon content, and is otherwise non-anomalous. A large concrete dome covers the entirety of SCP-4050-1. The entryway into SCP-4050-1 always appears to be on the ceiling of this dome. Tests have concluded that the dome is destructible, but its breadth is unknown. The longest distance drilled within the dome is 650 kilometers. Addendum 1. Following the events of Exploration 7.3-1, it was discovered that all buildings within SCP-4050-1 have had all of their openings completely barricaded with wood. All attempts at gaining entry into a building have been met with failure, as the wood and buildings have resisted all destruction attempts thus far. Addendum 2. Following the events of Exploration 7.7-2, a single window that was not barricaded was found, allowing access into the house. Five human cadavers were found within its interior, including one male in the living room next to the open window, holding a hammer and nails, one female and a child in the basement, next to a large supply of canned food and bottled water, another male within a closet, holding a large bucket and several empty water bottles and another child in a bedroom upstairs holding a stuffed toy. Notably, these cadavers are an identical genetic match to the H family, the members of which are both alive and currently residing within SCP-4050. Addendum 3, following the events of Exploration 8.1-3, it was noted that any container within SCP-4050-1 that measured 10 meters or deeper would be affected by an anomaly similar to the one present within SCP-4050, and would anomalously deepen. Once the container reached 500 meters in depth, another opening would appear at the bottom, which would lead to a large plot of land with a small log cabin in the middle, completely submerged in water. This water appears to be the same in composition as the water in SCP-4050-1, and a concrete dome similar to the one in SCP-4050-1 covers the area, which also appears to be infinitely thick. Within the submerged log cabin is the corpse of Florence C. N. James, floating next to the building's window, holding a journal. The journal describes Florence's fear of the rain, noting that it was raining more than usual in Kansas, as well as describing a large flood occurring before the rest becomes illegible due to water damage. 
Thank you for tuning in, we hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.